check your Saturn already of Capricorn and your astrology chart. All the information looking for is in the description box down below. Thank you so much for supporting Psychic Sid and all of the services and beauty products are provided in the description box down below. Okay, Capricorn, you are the last reading of the day. It is 12.30 a.m. Pacific Time, November 5th, 2021 here in Las Vegas, Nevada. It has been a busy day with Zoom meetings and FaceTimes, text messages, phone calls, emails, all types of stuff. Very, very busy day. I'm happy to be able to get into your energy. Let's see what's going on for you. What is the future of Capricorn's finances and career? Unethical. Unethical behavior can lead to some serious consequences. Someone is stealing or lying to you about money. Don't sacrifice your morals for money. Okay, Capricorn. So, someone could be lying to you at work, okay? Could be your boss, could be your coworker. Could be, um, if you're in a relationship, someone could be lying to you if you guys are, something about money. Someone could be lying to you about money. Someone in your life is stealing or lying to you about money. They're stealing money from you or they're lying to you about money. And the behavior is going to lead to some serious consequences. Okay. Right. What you believe about money is changing as well. It's like you can't believe anything that this person is saying. Okay. Ten of Cups. Beautiful. Pisces and Mars. I love it. I love it, Capricorn. Okay. You have the Five of Pentacles, Taurus and Mercury. Okay. Four of Pentacles in reverse, Sun and Capricorn. Okay, future. Ooh. Okay. You have the Page of Pentacles in reverse, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. You're receiving some um, bad financial news. Okay. Well, yeah, Will of Fortune in reverse, Strength in reverse. Bottom of the deck, the fool. Okay. You're going to be... Um, the fool is in the upright. Okay. Also, I'm seeing you're having car problems. Your car may not be working. Someone's car isn't working. Or you may need to buy a new car. Or a car is draining you financially. Right? You're spending so much money trying to save it that it's like, what the... You know, it's costing you more to keep it than it is to actually have it. Um... <laughs> Or to actually drive it, you know. Uh, some of you, this could even be like, um, you have to pay for transportation, right? That's financially draining you. Page of Pentacles, remember, uh, they're stealing. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So this would be a Saturn in Virgo. Saturn in Taurus. Saturn in um, Capricorn. Okay? Could also be um, Capricorn in the Venus. Capricorn and the Mercury. Capricorn, again, in the Saturn. Okay? They're stealing, though, with the Page of Pentacles in reverse. And with the Ten of Cups, Pisces and Mars. Also, there could be jealousy regarding uh, money. Sacrifice. With the Page of Pentacles in reverse, they're actually chopping off the head of the dove. They're stealing here, okay? Bad financial news could be coming to you, okay? With the Ten of Cups, I'm seeing fame here in your career fame some of you this is even i'm um, dropping out okay um this can also symbolize like um some of you work with celebrities or you work um with social media some of you work in prisons institutions asylums the government money health the body 
Um, for a lot of you, your body is uh, not, I don't know. Your health is being impacted by your finances and career due to worry. Okay. For a lot of you, if this is relationship as well, like I'm seeing, it's an extremely financially struggling relationship. There's like no finances. Someone doesn't even have a job with the five of pentacles, choice worker. But they're about to lose their job. They're about to get fired or they can't find a job. They can't. Like, this is like a poverty. They have, like, no money. Nothing. Nothing to offer. Nothing to give. And I see you wanting to let go of a relationship where it's purely based on money and has nothing to do with love. Um, also feeling like happiness has to ha be a lot of hard work. For a lot of you, your finances, uh, nine of pentacles, this would be like almost nine of pentacles, remember? Your finances are struggling. Okay. This can also be um, with strength in reverse Venus and Leo. You can feel very weak. You, uh, someone could be, um, this almost makes me feel like Capricorn, you may not feel very confident in your finances. You feel financially drained. Someone could have financially drained you because the will of fortunes in reverse. This stopped everything. There was major delays, bad timing, um, bad news, bad karma. You're receiving bad karma. It's some kind of bad karma. Um, if this is a relationship, there's like no money. Or someone's taking your money. Like your independence is sort of going out the door. Your finances are going out the door. You know. This is um, with the fool. I see you like doing something you've never done before regarding your money and your finances some of you are going to be starting an app okay or you could even um for some of you i'm seeing like you could oh that is crazy why did it look like okay this looked like the chariot it's not the chariot it's the higher fun in reverse taurus so capricorn if you own a spiritual business you're not running it very morally or ethically okay um if you're in a relationship, you don't even want to be in it. Uh, if you're in a relationship or a marriage, you do not want to be in it. Um, you guys don't agree on the same things. You don't believe in the same things. You could be Muslim. They're Catholic. Um, you could be uh, into monogamy. They're into polygamy. A lot of you are in a relationship you don't want to be in. A lot of you are also leaving a relationship. Many of you are realizing, because Chariot is in the upright, Cancer, Aries, Scorpio. A lot of you guys could be... Um, even deciding to buy a new car, okay, or travel. Some of you are going to be traveling somewhere you've never been. And with the full, many of you are going to do a job you've never done before. I see you no longer wanting to commit to something. Uh, many of you will be starting your own business. Okay, many of you guys will be starting your own business. I'm like trying to read, yeah. Yeah, you're intuitively being guided to do this. And you're well aware that you don't want to be um, in some type of connection because it's only about money. This is showing up for you because somebody has dual loyalty to two people. I just saw two of swords. Um, some of you are like, uh, there's like a, a lack of talking because, a lack of communication because someone's heart lies there and another person's heart lies there. Like, they have their heart lies with two people. And they don't want to argue. But... That in itself means that it's not stable and you really shouldn't be in it if someone's emotionally um, invested in something else. Even if it's just emotions, it's something called emotionally cheating, right? Uh, there's uh, a, There was a need for validation. A lot of you want to be validated regarding your finances or your career. You may even drive for a living. I see you have a talent you need to turn into a business. You are being enlightened, though, that um, a lot of you are in a dynamic that's only about money. And that someone has dual loyalty to you and a Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay? They have loyalty to a Queen of Wands and a Queen of Cups. So, um, they have loyalty to you where maybe they um, fawn over you and make you feel very good about yourself. Um, and that you're gorgeous and that you're amazing. Da, 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 da. And then they have somebody else with the Queen of Cups. 
uh, someone that they're emotionally connected to, someone where it's a drama-free relationship and, and you know, well-intentioned. Um, but still, yeah, I broke the deck. King of Cups is in reverse. Ace of Cups is in reverse. Some of you guys are moving out or breaking up with somebody or you don't feel that something is fulfilling anymore. Like due to the set, lack of self-love, your money has been uh, lacking. With the King of Cups in reverse, Libra, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, this is someone who's not at the height of their career. You could actually be getting like fired or um, could have addiction with the King of Cups in reverse. Could be emotionally manipulative. I give emotion, then I'm going to take it back. Someone could have been doing that to you. This feels like a, a, a hurtful situation with the King of Cups in reverse. This can even be rape. Okay, some of you are having a girl when you really wanted a boy. Or you're having an abortion, like you're not carrying the child out or something like that. Um, you financially, you're struggling because you're not emotionally aligned or even emotionally available. See, when we invest ourselves emotionally into something negative or... See, if you're aware, my heart lies with this person, but my heart lies with that person. Then even if you try to commit to a relationship, you can't. Not really. And it's not authentic. And then that leaks into other portions of your life, right? All of a sudden, work is horrible and you're, you're gaining no money. All of a sudden, you're going to have car problems. All of a sudden, it's like, well, what is going on? What is going on? It's because when you invest in one thing that's negative, it's got to leak into everything else. Because that's the direction you're putting the energy in. You know what I'm saying? It's cause and effect. Um... If you're, this is also signifying like um, emotionally just unavailable. Emotionally unavailable. Some of you, this is about um, cheating. Someone cheats with the King of Cups in reverse. They cheat. I see you wanting to let this go. You sort of feel like you were crazy for holding on to something. Someone's ghosting you. Five of Pentacles. Someone's ghosting you. It could even be like if you're financially struggling, someone ghosts you because you have no money or um, like that was what it was all based on. The relationship it was all based on money. The money gets taken away to show you this, there's no reason to be here. You get what I'm saying? It, it's a um, it's karmic law. This is karmic law. Because you didn't learn a lesson, right? There's um, bad karma. You could have even stolen from someone or lied to someone about money or something like that. Now there's bad karma. Someone could even be in a homeless shelter. Okay. Or like uh, pandering for money. Okay, this could be like, you know, side of the street or like asking people for money. I feel like someone could be unemployed or something like that. Someone's being ghosted. Though. If this is a relationship, there is no money. Like no money. Okay. And usually that happens in a relationship because if it's not meant to be, spirit will take the things that you're using to try to sustain in that relationship until you realize that you're not supposed to be in it or you're not supposed to be in that situation. It could be a job. Some of you will get fired. That's not what you wanted to hear. That is delayed. Things that you wanted to have in a particular time are going to be delayed. Advice for Capricorns. Um, some of you work in the government. I see some of you guys even work. Um, yeah, treason. Oh, my goodness. Star pirate. All right. Treason. Yeah, a lot of you guys are going through somebody stealing from you or something like that. Someone's been lying to you, stealing from you. Okay, I feel like um, this affected your identity. Affected your identity, affected your work, affected your self-esteem, creativity, productivity, um, it's not good. There's been a lot of illusion here with the moon. Some of you guys work night shift. Okay, night shifts. Um, 
for sex work. That's for some of you. Some of you also work on the World Wide Web. Okay, if you own a business, it's going to feed your family's family. There's going to be some kind of legacy, okay? Um, a lot of you guys could even, um, with the world, you could come from another um, nationality or even be in a different country where you teach people something from your country, right? Like if you're a foreign exchange or foreign language speaker, you go to another country to teach other people. Um, there's a 30-year cycle over for you. It's interesting she's wearing this skirt and it's got all these different colors it almost makes me feel like my ears are ringing almost makes me feel like um someone could have been for, with you only for money and for your stability or you could have been doing that to somebody and it could have even been you were with somebody because of sex or with somebody uh for your own personal reasons right and you're realizing that you're being taken for granted or that you're being used financially. Someone is not going to commit to you. Seven of Swords in reverse. Moon in Aquarius. Someone's also coming clean uh, at work. Someone could be coming clean to you. Yeah, I stole. I stole. I did it. Uh, if this is a relationship, someone's going to come clean and tell you they stole from you or lied on you. Like lied to you or cheated on you, even potentially. For a lot of you, a short-term relationship is coming to an end. Because even if you look, they're looking at this house, right? But it's see-through. There's nothing in it. It's symbolic. Almost like uh, the foundation didn't have any substance. So it has to end. It's not stable. It's not stable. This almost reminds me of the number seven and four. It's almost like you're taking initiative. It's like you're taking initiative. Um to choose you to choose you about what makes you feel safe some of you don't feel safe with somebody this person does not make you feel safe because they're emotionally manipulative okay it, it does not make you feel safe so you're having to break up with somebody or you're having to um, reject somebody there's like unrequited love somebody could be breaking up with you Okay, but it's impacting you. Uh, for some of you, you may um, have like a boss that's uh, sexually inappropriate. Like they're inappropriate. They flirt with you and they shouldn't be flirting with you. You have to reject them and stuff like that. That's for some of you. I'm also seeing. I'm also seeing some of you own like your own. Uh, you may have your own business for some of you, or you may work from home. I see some of you guys work from home. Uh, you may work in beauty, fashion, money. Some of you are lawyers. This is about knowing your value and your worth. Okay. <sighs> knowing that that doesn't come from a job. It doesn't even come from a relationship, a person, place, or thing. Or money. Um... You know, the earth signs are the most demonic because it can be manifested into the physical reality, right? We talk about water, that's emotions. You can't really see that. I can express it, but you can't see it. Passion, I can feel it, but you can't see it. You may see it through my actions, but you can't really see that flame within me. Swords, I got it in my head. I'm thinking it. You may not even hear me say it, right? Words, you can't see words, but you can hear them. But in this situation, what I'm seeing is... um. There is a recognition for you about um, an attachment to the 3D, to the physical reality. Some of you, if you're in a relationship, you feel like um, your partner does not appreciate you, does not love you, um, doesn't care about you, um, ghosts you. You feel like you can't find anyone better if you were to go out into the dating world. And then it affects all the rest of your abundance. You're receiving negative uh, recognition in public by other people. Things are delayed. You may not be able to travel. You may feel like it's the wrong time for you to leave a situation or to leave a job or leave a relationship or leave a situation. But I see you dropping out of it because it's not leading you to any abundance. Let's look at some advice for you, okay, to take away from this. Um, I'm seeing you also be aware that you're not going to settle. Some of you have a really amazing job. Um... 
But I'm seeing you're like, I'm not going to settle for less than I deserve. And that's the right mentality. Even if you have to drop out of something, right? I'm not going to settle for less than I deserve. I want what I want. Okay? And if that, well, that's not aligned with you or the situation or this job or whatever it may be, it's time for me to go. Okay? You have justice. All right? Be prepared to face the truth. The truth is not always pleasant, but this is better than living a lie. Face it, deal with it, and move on. The affirmation is, I see clearly and take the right and make the right decisions. All is well. Okay? So let's repeat this again. This is your affirmation, Capricorn, when you're feeling like, oh my God, this is like, what is going on? Why is this happening to me? You know, this is just not what I needed. Like, ah, da, 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 da. come to this video. We're going to do a breath together, okay, Capricorn? I can feel you. I just got to chill in my body. We're going to do a breath together, my love, okay? Breathe in through the nose, okay? This is proper breath work so that your brain is going to receive the oxygen necessary to process what it is that you need to think. Take another one. It's okay. I'm hearing guava. And apple juice, orange juice, something about juices. Are you in like the juice aisle? I feel like you're shopping while listening to me. Or like grocery shopping. And girl, get your, get your food, get your thing on. Anyway, one more breath. <laughs> Maybe some cranberry juice. Get you some juice, okay? Um, the affirmation is, remember, we're going to do this together. I see clearly and make the right decisions, okay? All is well. Because you have successfully ended a cycle, okay? You're going to successfully end a cycle. A short-term relationship, a job that may have been short-term, or something that you were deceiving yourself about or someone was deceiving you about, okay? All right, so one of the things you can do in your spare time, if you want to, you don't have to, I, you can write down 21 times, which is interesting, right? With the number 21 here with the world, the number 10 here with the Wheel of Fortune, um, Strength, the number 8, the Moon, the number 18, and the Fool, the number 0. Some of you have uh, dealt with false friends. Um, you may have even dealt with, uh, like, in the workplace. Could have even been um, in, the, in a relationship. Could have been infidelity or something like that of that nature. And it's affected your finances. It's affected your career. Many people don't understand, no, 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 I just want to focus on the, the money and the credit. Yeah, that's great, but there are other things impacting why you're not making any. There's a reason you're not making any money. There's a reason you're being financially drained in this situation because a lot of times we blur the lines of business and money with emotions and sex and lust and love, right? Everything you see in this world, it's meant to convince us that the simulation is real. It's not real. It's not real. You're God. I am God as well. Everybody is God, which makes you accountable, right? It's not, oh my God, why is this happening? No, 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 no. You're basically telling yourself, oh my, why, why is this happening? Why did I do this? Right? Why did I do this? It's okay to be accountable and responsible. Okay? You're not alone in that. No one expects you to be perfect. Okay? It's okay. You're safe here. As psychic said. We do not judge. It's not our place. So, what you can write for 21 times. Write this 21 times, Capricorn. Okay? I accept all life's lessons and move into the light. Throughout the day, say, all is well. Okay? Some of you have a poverty mindset as well. I'm going to say this again. What is the thing you should be writing 21 times? I accept all life's lessons and move into the light. Okay? Throughout the day, say, all is well. Okay, all is well. Aqua just woke up. Maybe that's a sign for you. All is well. Okay, all is well. Um, 
you didn't think something was the right time to transform or to take the risk to move on and to move forward. A promotion you were supposed to get, you're not getting. It makes you feel weak. It makes you lack confidence. It makes you feel like, where am I going to get my next paycheck? You're scared. You're dealing um, with a breakup or an ending with somebody who's very manipulative. Okay, that could even be like your boss. It could be a, um, your husband or your boyfriend. Someone who's financially draining you and emotionally manipulative. A lot of you are seeking validation regarding your money or, career, or your career or like with the fool, you um, have commitment issues. Some of you may bounce from job to job or place to place just because you don't want to commit. Okay? Or you don't like what you're committed in. Some of you are straight up leaving a relationship. A constitution, an institution, a foundation, a church, a service, you are leaving. It's just not it. You don't believe in it. Um, you just don't. You know that there's better for you. Yeah, five of swords in reverse, Venus and Aquarius. Somebody will do something out of revenge. Someone's going to do something out of revenge. Regarding your finances in the future, okay? There could be an arrest that escalates to violence. Somebody could be getting arrested for stealing or something like that. Um, this has been your reading. The most important thing is to remember to love yourself, okay, Capricorn? Love attracts abundance. I promise you. If you would like a reading or you're interested in any of my other services or voodoo products, that's in the description box down below next to the butterfly. Also, some of you were born into money, and that was the only reason somebody uh, was attracted to you. Like, someone wanted to marry into money. Yeah. Okay. This has been your reading. Ashay.